Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And today we're talking about the truth behind Buffalo Trace, their products, and what we think about them, as well as available alternatives that you can actually find sitting on store shelves. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then this might be the video for you. It's gonna be a fun one for us yeah. because everything on this list has been informed by previous blind tastings. You can comb through our back catalog of head to heads and you can actually see some of these play out in real time. Yeah. What we think about them, how some of these products have compared to Buffalo Trace's most lauded, hyped, sought after bottles from their high tier antique collection all the way down to some of their more niche products that aren't antique collection but are still kind of hard to find so it should be a pretty interesting video if you like the style of content like the video and think about subscribing to the channel because we bring you four videos a week i think we are ready to get into it yeah. we're just going to roll right in let's do it the real truth is that bourbon is bourbon yeah and buffalo trace makes bourbon just like so many other distilleries do and their bourbon is not inherently any better or worse than any other distillery's bourbon out there true it's just a different flavor profile i think the reason that buffalo trace has become so hyped up is because of some mainstream media attention with parts unknown with anthony bourdain talking mm. about pappy van winkle and you've got other very large whiskey tube channels talking about how much they like buffalo trays i remember back in the day shout out to whiskey tribe they had a video about how buffalo trace was just like the best budget bourbon you could possibly find and i went looking for it couldn't find it on the shelves just the way it goes yeah. but you know when you're in this space you things get propped up yeah and realistically speaking it's not like buffalo trace is making filet mignon and everyone else is making ground round like there isn't that wide of a gap yeah it's just specifically very good kentucky bourbon just like so many other distilleries make and it's a difference in flavor profile yeah so they do have a few outlying products that are hard to find comparable things too and we will talk about those okay. but for the most part a lot of their core offerings and even some of their higher end offerings you can find things on the shelf that will compare favorably so let's go ahead and get right into it so before we get started i do want to pause right here okay. and say while we are giving you alternatives to these specific products if you want these B buffalo trace products there is no substitute like if you want it yeah. You're not like if you want to eat the cookie, you're not going to be happy unless you have the cookie. So if you want a specific Buffalo Trace product, these are good alternatives if you just want the flavor profile yes. or something similar. If you want the hype and the bottle sitting on your shelf and all that stuff, there is no substitute. But if you don't care about that as much and you just care about the flavor, this is the video for yeah. you. We're talking about things that compare comparably flavor wise. Mm -hmm. They might not have the shelf appeal. They might not have the hype behind them. But we can guarantee through our own blind tastings yes. multiple times yeah. that these products do stand up. Let's go. The distillery's namesake, Buffalo Trace, is generally sweet with like this kind of fruity sweetness, mm -hmm. apple juicy type of sweetness or red berry type of sweetness. And when you're talking about fruit forward bourbons that are around 90 proof, mm -hmm. it's really hard to go wrong with Bowman Brothers small batch or 1792 small batch. They share a lot of the same characteristics that regular old Buffalo Trace does. You can find both of these on shelves, although Bowman Brothers may not be in every market, yeah. but it is 90 proof. The small batch always have to look, it's 93.7 proof. But what you're getting out of these two products is the same fruit forward, generally easy sipping sweetness that Buffalo Trace gives you. We would highly recommend checking these out if you can't find this. Full disclosure, Eagle Rare is one of our favorite products from Buffalo Trace. That 10 year yes. age statement and the depth that that brings to it, even though it is 90 proof, does make it a really good product. And it should be about 35 or $40. With that said, it does get marked up in a lot of markets. Yeah. If you even can find it, it can be $70, $100 or even more. And it's just not worth that in our eyes. These two alternatives to it are actually very good products. Russell's 10 year, you get the same 10 year age statement. The flavor profile is not quite the same, although I will say that we do tend to prefer Russell's as much, if not more, in blind tastings over Eagle Rare. And it is very good. Mm -hmm. We do like our wild turkey products here. But 
10 cup tenure is actually, we think, the best alternative. It is fruit forward in the same way that Eagle Rare is fruit forward. Mm -hmm. It is 10 years old, just like Eagle Rare. It does have a little bit of depth and nuance to it for the proof point. And overall, the pr flavor profile is very similar, very yeah. comparable. comparable. This is sourced from MGP, so you're still getting some of that red berry fruitiness like you get in Eagle Rare. And it's just a really good product. We have picked this over Eagle Rare in multiple blind tastings. Elmer T. Lee is one of Buffalo Trace's most hyped up products. This is a $40 to $45 bottle of bourbon that goes for hundreds, $300 or more wow. on a lot of markets, yeah. secondary markets, price gouging stores, all that stuff. It's crazy. This bottle is one of the most disappointing bottles we have ever tried. And a lot of stuff is beaten in blinds. Mm -hmm. So we could put, I mean, just look through the back catalog. We could put tons of bottles in here, but this is Buffalo Trace's high rye mash bill. And what we want to do is offer some alternatives if they are available in your market. Benchmark top floor is a very good product. And this is from Buffalo Trace. So you are getting that same fruity sweetness and it's just a really good product, cheaper than Elmer T. Lee. And it's easier to find. Easier to find than Elmer T. Lee. It's just a good bottle of whiskey. And then Green River is a higher rye bourbon that is not the first time, or this is the first time, but not the last time you're gonna see it in this list because mm. we think this is an excellent alternative to a lot of some of Buffalo Trace's products. But Elmer T. Lee in particular being 90 proof, this being also 90 proof, yes, yes, confirmed. Yes. But <laughs> I was like, I always wanna say it's more because it does have a little bit of spice to it, mm -hmm. but it does still have that same fruity, yeah. sweet flavor profile that Buffalo Trace does. And they're just doing fantastic stuff over at Green River. We think it's a great product. You should absolutely check it out if you like Buffalo Trace and can't find it in your market. Saddle up Buttercup because we're talking about Blanton's alternatives. A horsey top. And look, here's the thing. We saw a photo, I saw a photo of people standing in line in the rain for hours at Buffalo Trace to hopefully get their hands on Blanton's. Oh, we were there the day that they had. Oh, there was like over 600 people they in told, line we went waiting on a, for Blanton's. We went on a tour of the distillery and they told us that 600 people had gotten in line to get it when B Blanton's dropped. That's crazy. And we were like, we were just there for a tour, so we didn't get any, obviously, but. At $60, this is a $30 bourbon in a $30 bottle. In our market now, it's up to about $80, which is just crazy. It's not that good, although it does make a good gift if you can get your hands on it but it's not worth paying a premium for. We've I had want, plenty of things beaded in blinds. I would like to caveat your, it's not that good. It's also not bad. It's not bad. I think no, what you're, what what you're referencing is it's not worth the, the hype. hype that it has received. Right. But if you're looking for available alternatives, blade and bow for $50 and you get the little key. I had to take it off because it was rattling and driving me nuts, but you get blade and bow 50 bucks. Yeah. 93 proof, 91 proof compared to Blanton's 93 proof. And then you've got Green River again, which is a fantastic alternative to pretty much so all of Buffalo you can get Traces. This is like a two for one. It's like a buy one, get one. Right. This is a great alternative to any Buffalo Trace Mash Bill number two product. Blanton's, Elmer T. Lee, not Rock Hill Farm because the price or the proof isn't quite there. Mm. But yeah, you can get two of these for, or maybe even three of these for the price of one of these, depending. Because some of these go for like over $150 yeah. or more. So you could get multiples of these. You get two of both of these for what these sell for in some markets. You so go. you don't have the same collectability. It's not as giftable, all that stuff. But if you're just about the taste, both of these have gone toe to toe and beat this in blind head to heads, depending on the Blanton single barrel for us. And they're fantastic products. We would highly recommend you check them out. E.H. Taylor Small Batch is a good product. Yes. We do like we it. Do. However, these two products that are along with it here are very viable alternatives. I have picked this over E.H. Taylor Small Batch and Blind Head to Heads. You have picked this over E.H. Taylor Small Batch and Blind Head to Heads. And in E.H. Taylor Small Batch, there's like this, you call it a strawberry shortcake doll note. Mm -hmm. That's like this strawberry fruity sweetness, mm -hmm. kind of an artificial strawberry sweetness. Yep. That exists in both of these products. And then what I get out of these two is a general like bourbon fruity sweetness, but it brings a little bit of depth and richness because mm -hmm. of the 100 proof point. Okay. And then they each kind of have a little bit of like a twist, like it's a little bit of florality or like 
funk or something. Like, there's something going on in these that's hard to put my finger yeah. on that makes them a little bit different. But the Smoke Wagon Small Batch, I think, is a very viable alternative to E.H. Taylor Small Batch. And, yeah, I just can't recommend these two products enough. Again, check the catalog for the blind tastings on these. They've both been up against E.H. Taylor, and they have both fared fairly well. All right, we're going to cover the low-proof Wellers together. Okay. So Weller Special Reserve, Weller 12, both solid products, particularly Weller 12, we do like mm -hmm. quite a bit. But I do think that Makers 46 is a viable alternative to both of these. We only have the regular Makers product in here because this bottle now looks like this bottle oh. with a different label. Interesting. But the Makers 46 in the new bottle shape with a different label is what you want to be looking for. So we can actually take this out. Just want to show you the bottle shape. Okay. But these two right here, low proof weeded bourbons from Buffalo Trace, generally sweet. The 12 year does bring that age statement mm -hmm. and some depth to it. However, Makers 46 has gone toe to toe yeah. in blind tastings that we have given other people blind flights and beaten it in some cases. So this product right here can stand up. And if you can't find these two, while Makers does not have the shelf appeal that these Wellers do, it is absolutely worth checking out because it is sweet, it is soft, it's everything you want out of a low proof weeded bourbon. Can't recommend this stuff enough. Don't skip out on it just because it doesn't say Weller on the label. Makers 46 cast strength would have been an obvious inclusion here, but we just talked about Makers, so we can put a little twist on it here. When it comes to the higher proofed Weller products from Buffalo Trace 107 and Full Proof, there are alternatives out there because what these offer you is they offer you that softness of weeded bourbon, mm -hmm. but they offer you some punch from proof the proof. Punch, yeah. Right. So because of the proof punch that you're getting here, you can find a non-weeded blended product that offers some softness to the profile because it has been blended very well. And two of the best companies out there doing it right now are Barrelcraft Spirits with their bourbon batches and Pursuit United with their bourbon releases. So you can look back through the back catalog of our videos and you can see Pursuit United take on Weller Full Proof. And you can also see Barrel take on, I think Weller Full Proof, but these kind of get lumped in together yeah. with us. These are all very fruit forward, generally sweet, very approachable whiskeys for their proof points. And if you have not yet checked out Barrelcraft Spirits bourbon batches and the Pursuit United bourbon batches, and you like these, but you can't find them, you are doing yourself a disservice by skipping out on these. We do not have any Pappy Van Winkle bottles to be able to compare to this for you visually speaking, but there are people who have done blind tastings that have picked Calumet 16 over Pappy Van Winkle 15 year. And look, if you can't find high aged Pappy Van Winkle. Which most people can't, we let's can't, be honest. We can't. You can find high aged products out there okay. that can offer not an exact one-to-one -one experience or whatever, but like you can get some very, very good flavors and very good products out there on the market, sitting on shelves that nobody's buying. You can buy this Calumet 16 for 150 bucks in our market, sits on shelves, whereas Pappy Van Winkle 15 year, can't find it, couldn't even win it in a lottery hardly. You're just gonna have to get stupid lucky to be able to get your hands on one of those. We're not that lucky. We are very happy with Calumet 16, brings a lot to the table and we're not missing Pappy too much. Bottles are getting taller. The price is going up. The <laughs> hype is going up. Everything's tall here, except for this except little for squatty this little boy. Except for this little short boy. Yeah, but Stag Junior and Stag, or now Stag Bourbon and George T. Stag, are very good products. I do think they are my favorite products from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. They're the only ones I think are even remotely close to worth the hype, although not anywhere near what they go for. Mm, yeah. Viable alternatives for these, if you like the spice and the proof and the sweetness that you get from these two products, there are products on the market that bring you that same big flavor proof big, punch. Big, bold flavors. But still really sweet. Yeah. And the Kelvin collaborations from Forgate are fantastic. This is Kelvin collaboration four. Also, there are picks out there, single barrel picks that can go toe to toe with these two products. This is our pick that we did with ADHD whiskey. 
not trying to self-promote here, but... Well, you can't get this anymore. You, yeah. But this is a, a representative of picks in general. Right. And just, yeah. it's not every pick. It's few and far between, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. But you can still find single barrel picks way more easily than you can find either of these two products. So be on the lookout for single barrel picks out there that you might be able to find that deliver a same proofy, spicy, concentrated mm. flavor experience like these do. And then, yeah, capitalize on it. When you find a pick like that, buy as many of them as you can afford to buy, stockpile them, enjoy them, savor them. Yeah. But in the meantime, you can also find Forgate. And if Forgate is not available in your market, you can find it through online retailers like Sealbox and Shared Pour. They're worth checking out, specifically the Kelvin collaborations. Mm. And for what it's worth, this was a pick that came out of a Kelvin barrel as well. So there's something about Kelvin barrels, the Kelvin mm. Cooperage, that there's some kind of magic sauce going on with those <laughs> barrels that I think that they make a really good product yeah. that can deliver the same type of fruitiness, the same type of oakiness that you can get out of some of Buffalo Trace's most high-end products. And I think they're worth checking out. Now, we do know that some of these are expensive. I mean, you're talking about $200 or more for a four gate. Single barrels can be hard to find depending yeah. on your market, but can be available online. But Buffalo Trace stuff is hard to find, period. So that's worth noting as well. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get these out of the way. Okay. I do want to say there are some notable exclusions from this list. There is no William LaRue Weller. And that's because high proof weeded bourbons like that just aren't out there. So yeah. that's one that is very hard to find a comparable alternative to. Although both of us tend to prefer a rye-based bourbon more than a weeded bourbon. Correct. So we would tend to prefer a George T. Stag or a Stag bourbon, depending on the batch, or a really good store pick or a four gate or mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. So there's a lot of products out there on the market. You're not gonna have that pretty bottle of hype sitting on your shelf, but depending on how much hunting you're willing to do and how much you're willing to pay, you can find products that offer a similar experience to Buffalo Trace, because just like we said at the top of this episode, Buffalo Trace bourbon is a very good, but it is not categorically better than anything else out there on the market. If you just are willing to do a little bit of legwork and find stuff that might fit your flavor profile, even a little bit better than Buffalo Trace. If you like today's video or like the style of content, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you like our channel, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you keep do hanging it. out with us. And then also speaking of hanging out, we do monthly live streams once a month. So hit that bell icon to be notified when we're about to go live. Yep, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in. Be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. cheers.